Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So you can see by the title of the video, I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me with the new ColourPop Stone Cold palette and answering some questions. So let's just go ahead and get started. Breakouts I'm having, I don't know. Anytime I cry, I break out pretty bad and I've been crying a lot, so that's fun. I also quickly trimmed a bit of my fangs and now there is hair everywhere, so. But let's get started with eye makeup. So I'm gonna conceal my eyelids with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and get into questions. So first question is from the sweetest girl who follows me on here, who subscribed to me, I mean. <laughs> she comments on most of my videos. Um, I'm so sorry, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce your name. Um, if it's Halia, Hallie, Hala, uh, Halia. I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Oh, my kitten. We don't ram me wanting to come say hello. Oh, is it so cool up here? I love you. Okay. Anyway, I'm so sorry, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce your name. I should have asked you, um, but what she asked, what is your favorite kind of ice cream? Um, I really like the, I'm gonna go with the Stone Cold Fox palette. I really like, um, like the Teleni's Gelato that you get at the grocery store. Um, their sea salt caramel was super good. I love Rocky Road. I also love Sweet Cream and Cheesecake from Cold Stone. So pretty much most ice creams, I guess, I like. I like vanilla and stuff, chocolate, whatever. I'm gonna go in with Stone Age. I'm always drawn to more of like the pinky shades for some reason. Just gonna apply this. I love ColourPop shadows. I haven't really had a bad palette from ColourPop. I did have a palette that smelled really bad, like plastic ones, and I messaged them and they were like, oh, sorry, that happens. I was like, okay. Um, she also asked plans for the holidays. So I don't celebrate holidays, so you won't see any type of holiday style video from me or anything like that. So yeah. And then one of my mom's friends asked me, how do you get all these free goodies? I am so incredibly like grateful and can't believe, I'm gonna go with Gravity Hill right here, that I get some products sent to me from brands. I never thought in a million years that would happen. And it's just one of the most exciting things in my life. I don't have a lot of exciting things in my life because of my illnesses. I can't work and stuff and feel normal. But to have brands want to send me things to post on Instagram and stuff is crazy to me. Um, I do have almost 5,000 followers on Instagram. I know that's not a ton. And then a few a couple hundred subscribers on here so um i'm nothing huge or anything like that i hope to one day like um grow my following and stuff but it's not something that's like super important to me i can't believe the brand still like want to work with me and stuff but yeah if you're not following me on instagram i'll have it linked down below if you want to see the type of stuff that brands have sent to me I'm not on any PR or anything. I hope to be one day. That would be so, so cool, especially with brands that I love. Um, and I think it'd be really awesome if I could get attention from like BoxyCharm or something since I do videos on their stuff or even Ipsy. I was doing Ipsy unbaggings, but due to financial reasons, I couldn't afford to get BoxyCharm and Ipsy. So I just have BoxyCharm now, but if they ever sent it to me, that'd be sick because I could still make videos about their bag. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I also am signed up for, for Influencer. So they send me some stuff sometimes to post about. Uh, some brands reach out in DMs or email me. It's usually like smaller brands, nothing too, too crazy. I am currently working with Earth Harbor. They make really beautiful skincare. And this video is not sponsored or anything. They don't know that I'm mentioning this in this video, but I do have a 15% off discount code if you wanna check out their products. They're a family owned business, which I love so much. And they're a little bit bigger um, on Instagram and things like that. And they were in a boxy charm, but they wanted to work with me, which is so cool. So yeah, sometimes I reach out to brands to see if they wanna collab. And then other times they just Instagram DM me or email me. How many siblings do you have? So, I'm gonna go in with 
rock bottom to add a little bit of black. So I have five, five, I have four siblings. Um, one of my sisters, Brandy, passed away a few years ago, which was extremely difficult and still is for me to deal with. So it's just awful. Um, and then I have three other siblings. So I have an older sister, Amber, um, and an older sister, Shan, who I talk about on here sometimes or on my Instagram and stuff. They have their own Instagram accounts. And then um, I have an older brother, Justin, and they all live at a, in the same state, out of state for me. And I haven't seen them in a year and I hate it because of stupid COVID. So it makes me really sad. We usually see each other like twice a year, if not more sometimes, but I've never in my life gone a year without seeing them until COVID. So it's really difficult. I miss them so much but we just don't feel like it's safe to, you know, travel and be around each other right now. And it sucks. The colors in this palette work really well together. I'm gonna go in more with black because I kind of faded it out a bit. And then most, someone asked what my most treasured item is, most like prized possession. Um, I would say for sure my wedding ring. I love it so, so much. My husband did so good on it. He actually had it like custom made in California when he went to visit his brother. So it is a halo ring with diamonds all around and then diamonds on the band. And then he got me this really pretty gold band that has a few diamonds on it. It's like a rose gold and I love the combo. Whew. He picked out the band himself, like the color combo. I mean, he created the ring too with the jeweler, but I sent him pictures when we were dating and talking about getting married and I really wanted a halo ring and he did it perfectly. And he also has it engraved with um, Prima et Vera, which in Latin means first and true because I was his first and true love, which makes me so happy. It's the cutest thing ever. I'm gonna go in with a bit of concealer to do my inner corner and then what are you passionate about um my passions definitely changed when i got sick because i used to really be into baking and cake decorating and my work and i was passionate about my work and i wanted to one day open up my own bakery i'm gonna go with the baby doll shimmer which is a really pretty so yeah i wanted to own a bakery um stuff like that. Now I'm more passionate about um, chronic illness and raising awareness about chronic health issues. I'm gonna go in with Caving In too. It's more like deep shade for the center of my lid. It's really pretty. Yeah, so I would say that things definitely changed when I got sick and so I'm passionate about um, chronic health issues and I like talking to people who also have chronic health issues and learning about their conditions that I might not know about and stuff like that. And I just wanna make people who have health issues feel heard and cared about and know that they matter even though they can't do what they used to be able to do or maybe they never could. But it's really hard to have your life kind of ripped away from you or to just feel like you can't do what everyone else is doing or feel normal like other people get to be normal and stuff like that. And it's really hard to deal with, but yeah. So I'm passionate about um, illnesses. What do you look forward to in the morning? Um, I look forward to coffee for sure. I'm gonna go in with the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I really like this stuff. It makes my skin nice and luminous. But yeah, first thing I look forward to in the morning is my coffee. I make a really good cold brew. And that's pretty much it, because I don't really feel good in the mornings, so I'm usually just laying around until I can start to function somewhat. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Definitely an introvert. Um, I get really nervous around people. Uh, parties, I don't really like parties. I get super nervous or, and uncomfortable, unless my husband's with me, because he can like do most of the talking. And I can just kind of stand by him and like nod. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Foundation. I love this stuff. It's in this shade 120C. 
But yeah, I would much prefer to stay home and watch Netflix and do laundry than go to like a party or go out to a bar or something. So yeah, I look crazy. I'd say I seem more maybe like an extrovert when I get to know you pretty well and like you hang out at my house. Then I'm totally like a little bit loud and all over the place when you're in my house. <laughs> Like, cause I'm comfortable in my home and if I'm comfortable with you. But yeah, for the majority, I am very much an introvert. Um, favorite alcoholic drink and non-alcoholic drink. I love wine and margaritas. Margaritas are my jam. Um, what was I saying? My mind goes blank sometimes. But because of like the medications I'm on and how my stomach is and my conditions I don't really drink um, but some nights I do and I'll have a glass of wine or a margarita but I used to love having a couple glasses of wine um, when I wasn't as sick when I like turned 21 and stuff but now it's just one glass or like half a glass of wine and then um, non-alcoholic drink would be coffee um, lemon water and peach green tea. I'm gonna go in with the Dose of Colors concealer. I forgot in my BoxyCharm video when I got that Dose of Colors eyeshadow and I was like, I've never tried Dose of, a lot of Dose of Color stuff except their lip products. I totally forgot that I am like obsessed with this concealer that I got in a BoxyCharm last month, I think it was. It's so good and it's Dose of Colors, duh. What food do you love the most? Um, mac and cheese or pretty much anything a five-year-old eats. <laughs> Except I love vegetables and I know a lot of kids don't really like vegetables. I do, but no, I seriously eat like a little kid. I love kid food. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Paris Hydra Perfect Powder to just set my face. What makeup are you obsessed with at the moment? Um, hold on, let me set my face. So I'm definitely obsessed with the Morphe, I just had to repurchase it, um, skin tint, <laughs> what is it called? Um, hint Hint Skin Tint, this is the shade Hint of Ivory, like the lightest one. This is so beautiful, not if you want full coverage, but it still gives you a nice amount of coverage, and your skin looks really pretty and nice, so I am obsessed with that. <laughs> Also really loving the Lorac Pro 3 Mega Palette. The shimmers in here and stuff are to die for. Um, I know that's like kind of an old palette though, but I recently purchased it from TJ Maxx and it's so good. Also the brand Lawless sent me their Baby One Palette. These shades are so good and beautiful. I really, really love them. They're very pigmented, easy to blend and work with. I love the color story. And she created this palette um, when she was having her daughter, which I think is real cute. That's why it's called the baby one. And then also the Rare Beauty, um, her like matte liquid lips. Are they matte or like velvet? I don't know. This is the shade Brave. It's really pretty. I'm going to put that on later. And yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff that I've been really liking. Maybe I should do another favorites video soon. Now I'm going to go in with the Park Avenue Tarte Palette for some bronzer. Go in with Princess Cut and a little bit of the shimmery one. It's pigmented, but it looks so pretty on the skin. Favorite TV shows? Um, the Office, for one. It's one of my favorites. Gilmore Girls. If you follow my Instagram, you know I made some Gilmore Girls mugs on my little boutique. Go in with one of my favorites, the uh, Paradise Enchanted blush. Um, I love Parks and Rec. The Goldbergs is really funny. Um, right now my husband and I are watching Superstore, which you've never seen before, and it's actually really funny. Glenn is my favorite. He is hilarious. I love his Muppet voice. Um, what is your dream car? So my dream car that I've had since I was like 13 or so, so I'm not copying every other girl out there. I won't, I'm not gonna say every other, but a lot of girls right now, this is like their dream car for some reason. Mine has been, for the longest time, is a four-door Jeep Wrangler. I'm obsessed with them. I want a matte black one, but I do have a Jeep. Um, my husband has known, like, since he met me that Jeeps are my dream car. I would pretty much take any Jeep 
at this point, but that is my uh, dream car. But he got me a 2016 Jeep Patriot. It's gray. It's beautiful. It is everything to me. Like, I don't care that I don't have a Wrangler. This car is my pride and joy. And I'm obsessed with it. And I love just driving it around the neighborhood because I love it so much. <laughs> I'm using the um, AOA dollar liner. I am shaking so bad today. These wings are gonna be big. Things are done a little bit wonky because I can't stop shaking. I'm gonna use the Fourth Ray Beauty Glisten Up Mist. I like doing this before I apply mascara and highlighter. Um, where did you meet your husband? I met my husband um, at a bonfire in the middle of nowhere with a bunch of our friends. We had a lot of the same friends but never met each other, which was pretty funny. I'm gonna go in with the Essence Lash Princess um, False Lash Effect. This is the waterproof one. Go with the Hourglass Ambient Light Palette for some highlight. Um. Oh, advice for girls who, oh, advice for girls out there who want to aim high and reach their dream. It's really cute. Um, just keep working hard. Like, don't let anyone tell you that your dream is stupid. If you're passionate about it and you want to do it, just keep going. Um, I want to do YouTube. And just because I don't get a ton of views or something, it's not going to make me stop doing it because I genuinely think it's really fun. And I've watched these beauty videos and stuff for most of my life, and I've always wanted to do that, and I have so much makeup, so why not? Even if people that know me um, make fun of me because I do YouTube, which has happened, I really don't care. Um, I think it's fun, and I want to do it, so I'm going to do it. But yeah, just work hard. Don't give up. Um, but if things change, like how I got sick... Um, it's okay to be super sad about it. It's okay to cry about it Even if there's days when you feel better about it and you cry about it again like I do it's gonna happen um, And just try to think about something else that you're passionate about it doesn't have to be something huge that you can make a bunch of money off of or something just like Find something that you're passionate about <sighs> Things that give me serotonin that's really cute. Sorry. I got my lashes. I don't have them in their case right now um, Here's some in their case I'm wearing my Chronic Lashes and the style I'm So Rare. They're my absolute favorite, but I have a pack that's already open. If you wanna check out my lashes, they're on my website, chroniclexy.com. I'll have them linked down below. And they come with a free scrunchie, cause why not? Um, things that give me serotonin. Um, good music, coffee, my husband, my cats. Um, a good TV show like Gilmore Girls gives me a lot of serotonin. Um, I'm gonna apply that Rare Beauty lip liquid lip. It's not super like intense. It could kind of build up the color, which I like. It's kind of like a blotted lip. We we do family Zoom nights sometimes, where my siblings and my parents and my niece and nephews get together and all chat and that gives me a lot of serotonin. I love them so much. I talked to my sister the other day on FaceTime while I was doing my nails and we were just chatting about stuff and after I got off the phone I was in such a good mood and sometimes I don't realize that because like my family will want to talk or something and I'm just like in a sad spot and I don't really want to but once I do I end up feeling so good afterwards. So yeah, just talking to friends, family, a good TV show, stuff like that. I really love watching Gilmore Girls or something and folding laundry. I don't know why it's so like not typical I think to love laundry but I do. Uh, how to stay motivated when you want to give up. This girl is asking good questions. What is her name? It's me Valia. Is that your name? I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm so sorry. You're asking really good questions though. I love them. So how to stay motivated when you want to give up. Um I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I do know in a sense because this happens to me so many times. I'm gonna put my lashes on. But definitely for me and all my health issues and stuff, I've wanted to give up so many times, but I just think about um, my family, which I love so much. 
That is not the right lash. That is two right lashes. Hold on. Oh, my allergies are so bad today. My nose keeps running and it's taking off all my makeup. Okay, sorry, focus. Like, I'm all over the place like a squirrel. <sighs> so, definitely let yourself get down. Like, that sounds horrible, but I mean, like, let yourself feel what you're feeling and be sad and don't beat yourself up for feeling sad and do something for yourself that'll make you feel better. And yeah, just don't give up. It's easier said than done. I've definitely been there multiple times. I was just there two days ago. And I just think about my family and my husband that I love so much. And I know that it will get better mentally. Like maybe not physically my life will get better, but I've had so many times, even before I was sick, where I was super depressed as a teenager and things got way better. So you just gotta hang in there. Um, it might seem really bad now, but it can and it will get better. And I know that when you're feeling that way, um, you don't think it ever will. I keep getting lipstick in my teeth, but it will. And just do something that'll make you happy. If it's just walking around a store by yourself, buying yourself something, coloring, playing with makeup like I do a lot at night, just do something for you and not for someone else around you. Boom. I love my lashes. <laughs> my friend Kaylee asked, why are you so pretty? Thank you. Um, <laughs> okay. So let me go in my comments before this video ends because I know I had a couple comments. Do you have any irrational fears and what are they? Danny asked. <laughs> um, irrational fears, a lot of things. Textures freak me out. Certain sounds freak me out. Have you ever heard of a pangolin? Pangolin? It's not a penguin. My husband showed me a picture. I'm sorry, but they're the most disgusting, creepy things. If you want to go search up a picture of it, um, unless you get freaked out easily like I do, don't because they literally make me want to gag. They scare me so much. I don't know why. I have so many weird fears and like textures that freak me out and stuff like that. It doesn't make any sense. I also always think I'm going to get stuck in an elevator, so I hate taking elevators. Do you have a favorite beverage during winter? Um, hot coffee sometimes? Not really. Um, I pretty much drink iced beverages all year round. It doesn't really get super cold in Arizona, so, well, at least the part that I live in. Okay, so that was the last question. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and learning a bit more about me. And also, I do have a special little giveaway for you guys. It's just two little items, but I wanted to give them away to someone, so let's go into that. So I received a package from the brand Nest um, from Influencer. And they have you pick out like what scents you like and stuff. And I, they sent me the wrong scent basically. And I haven't opened them or anything, but this is the bamboo and jasmine scent. So it kind of smells like bamboo and jasmine, kind of like grass, I don't know. <laughs> but they have this cute little candle. So I haven't used it at all. And then they have a little roller ball fragrance. So if you want to win these goodies, just be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow my Instagram. Leave your Instagram name down below so that I can contact you if you win. And yeah, it is, it is for the US only. I'm sorry about that. Shipping is just so expensive outside the US. And yeah, this giveaway will end in a week. So yeah, I'll have all the details in my um, description box. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.